Reverend Pepe Choledi say, and on behalf of our Father, we welcome you. And we know that God has been gracious to you and God has been gracious to us. Once again, our 30 days intensive fasting is on. And wherever you are in any part of the world, we want you to join us together as we enforce uh, the hand of the Lord at work in our areas of endeavors. And today I am praying with you and we are dealing with a very important subject on revival, that the Lord once again will revive his people. Uh, Charles Spurgeon said, revival is to live again to receive again a, li a life which has almost expired. So I know most of us, we have come to a place of giving up, a place of living our situations the way it is, because we've been through far too long. But it's a time for the Lord to bring a revival once again in every area of our lives where the enemy has placed a demand, an embargo, or a siege on our destiny. May the Spirit of the Lord bring about a revival in the name of Jesus. And to rekindle into a flame the visit and a spark which was nearly extinguished. So something has nearly ended, but God is about to restore again. God is about to revive our churches again. It's about to bring us to the place where he had destined the church to be according to his divine agenda. And when revival happens, these are the signs that manifest in our lives. Much emphasis is on Jesus. According to Acts chapter 2, verse 24, people give their life to Jesus. Destinies and life come into a place of giving up into sin. And, and the passion for Christ, the desire, the quest. Paul said, the zeal of the Lord has overwhelmed me. When there is a revival, the zeal to serve God, the zeal to help one another is released. And we declare that as we embark on these 30 days, let the zeal to love the Lord come alive in our mortal bodies in the name of Jesus. And when there is revival, according to Acts chapter 2, verse 40, a burden for the lost is, is manifest. The church begin now to look for the souls that are perishing. And today, may this grace come over our churches, our nation, to look and go for the souls that the enemy is placing a demand on them. And when there's a revival, there's increase in salvation, according to the book of Acts chapter 2, verse 41 and 43. And we are praying today that the Lord show, show us mercy. According to Psalm 51, David said, Father, show us mercy according to your steadfast love and according to your abundant mercy, plot out our transgression because it is you alone we have sinned and done so many things against you. But we are pleading the blood for mercy over our nations, over our economy, over our leaders that you will show us once again mercy through the power in the blood of Jesus. And according to the book of James chapter 4 and verse 8 and 9, he said, draw nigh to God, and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your heart, ye double-minded people. We want to ask the Lord that we have been double-minded far too long. We have strayed away from the will of God for far too long. And this season, God is calling upon nations, upon leaders, upon all people, in whichever background you have found yourself, to connect to him, to draw nigh to God. And we want to ask the Lord, Father, we want to draw nigh to you. Show us mercy and deliver us from the power of iniquity. Father, today... As we come through the blood of Jesus Christ, we declare that, oh Lord, you will show us mercy. That you will show us mercy. One more time, deliver us, Lord. By your mercy, redeem us, Lord. By your mercy, deliver us from the power of iniquity. Any iniquity we have all had, wherever we have had, let the blood, let the blood, let the blood, let the blood, let us deploy the blood of Jesus. That the blood sanctify, the blood deliver our nations, our leaders right now from the power of iniquity. That wherein we have had and wherein we have sinned and wherein we have fought again the Holy Spirit and against his voice and against his bidding that giving the enemy an audacity we plead the blood we plead the blood we plead the blood on these airwaves in our nations uh, in the name of Jesus in the political sin we plead the blood in our churches uh, in the religious sin we plead the blood that the blood of Jesus today we speak uh, we are turned to the mercy seat of God that let the blood let the blood let the blood sanctify let the blood redeem us, O God. Let the blood redeem our leaders uh, from the political sin, from the religious sin. Uh, in our economies, the blood of Jesus that is able to transform lives and to heal and to deliver. We declare, O God, let the blood redeem. Let the blood save us. Uh, let the blood rescue. Let the blood restore. Let the blood rescue us, O God. That anywhere, O God, we have fought in, in any room we have heir to the enemy, we declare today by the power 
power of your spirit, uh, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, uh, redeem us, oh God, by the power of the Holy Ghost, uh, redeem us from the power of iniquity, in the name of Jesus, for your word says, oh God, uh, that the soul that sin shall die, but if we shall turn away from iniquity, you will create within us and clean us, oh God, and give us uh, a right spirit, we declare on this hour, let salvation prevail, let the souls that have been lost be redeemed, uh, we command the redemption of the souls that have been held bind in iniquity, in spiritual bondage, in the name of Jesus. May souls be redeemed, may souls be redeemed, may your people be restored by the power of your spirit, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. By the power of God, we activate the spirit of God and to work on these airways to bring transformation, to bring restoration, to redeem your people by the power in the blood, in the name of Jesus Christ. We need your restoration by the power of your mercy, so in the name of Jesus Christ, by the Spirit of the Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. We are praying according to Haggai chapter 1, and I'm reading the verse 14. And the Lord set up the spirit of Zerubbabel, the son of Shethel, the governor of Judah, and the spirit of Joshua, the son of Josedek, the high priest, and the spirit of all the remnant of people. And they came and did, and did work in the house of the Lord, of the host their God. May the Lord stir up the spirit of our leaders. May the Lord stir the spirit of his eminent the young bishop. May the Lord stir the spirit of our leaders in this nation. May the Lord stir our leaders, our president beyond the borders. In the name of Jesus. Say, oh Lord, we declare today by the power of prayer, let there be a release of the servant of the power of the Holy Ghost at work in the lives of the Abishop, in the name of Jesus, in the life of our leaders, in the lives of men and women of God across the nations by the power of your spirit, in the name of Jesus, we declare oh more, oh Lord let there be one more time an outpouring of your spirit upon our leaders, a stirring of your grace, of your will, of your power, of your direction, of your counsel, of your purpose, of your will, over the lives of our presidents, over the nations. In the name of Jesus, we declare, oh God, let our presidents, what our leaders, come to the place of your saving grace by the power of the Holy Ghost. We declare, Spirit of the Lord, on these airways, go forth into nations, into communities, into families, we declare the outpouring of your spirit, the outpouring of your anointing, the outpouring of your grace upon the lives of our leaders. In the name of Jesus, we declare by the power of the Holy Ghost, brooder over nations, brooder over nations, new brooder over churches. In the name of Jesus, brooder in the political scene, in the name of Jesus, in the educational scene, oh God, brood your spirit upon the young men and the young women, in the name of Jesus, oh God, arise in the wind of the spirit and release your spirit and your grace at work in the life of your people, in the business, in sectors, by the power of the Holy Ghost, we declare the fresh release of your power, of your grace, the enablement of the anointed for wisdom and the increase by the power of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus. We declare, oh God, let your spirit be set up. Let the Holy Ghost be set up in the name of Jesus. For your word says, if the same spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwelleth in us, it shall quicken our mortal bodies. Let destinies be quickened by the power and the influence of the Holy Ghost. Let your grace be activated by the power of your spirit. Oh God, arise in the wind of the spirit and release the end time anointing and of your supernatural power over the churches, over the nations, over the president, the ministers of nations. We declare, oh God, may your spirit be activated on the governors of the nations by the power of the Holy Ghost. We declare, oh God, let the airways be open for manifestation of your power and of your glory in the name of Jesus to 
today. Spirit of God, arise. Spirit of God, arise. Spirit of God, arise. In the wind of the spirit, religion, destinies that have been bound, destinies that have been tied up, destinies that have been caged, destinies that have been bound into affliction, into trouble, into chaos, into anxiety, into perplexity. We declare, arise in the wind of your spirit, breaking every bondage that where the souls of your people have been tied up in destiny. The minds of your people have been tied up not to make right decisions. Today, let all form of such manipulations over the lives of our leaders, over the lives of our president, over the lives of our pastors, men and women of God, our bishops, be released by the power of the Holy Ghost. Oh God, let all form of spiritual bondage be broken, be broken, be broken. Be broken, be broken, we command by your mighty hand and by your outstretched arm, restore. May God restore businesses. Amen. May God restore marriages. Amen. May God restore families. Amen. May God revive marriages again. Amen. May God revive ministries again. Amen. When the enemy has placed a demand over your people, he said, what unto you, you daughters of, 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 of complacence, that you are relaxed and no more looking for the will of God to be done. Today, may the Lord resurrect every mortal body that has been weakened in the spirit. And may the spirit of the Lord brood upon your people in the name of Jesus. Jesus, you say, for at the end time, you shall pour your spirit upon all flesh. We declare a fresh outpouring. Say, oh God, oh God, let there be a fresh release of your grace over the young men and young women of the nations in the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost, we declare a fresh encounter, a fresh visitation, and a fresh visitation from the Lord over the churches, over our leaders, over our sons and our daughters. Brood over your people by your spirit and by your grace. Restore your grace and restore your anointing. Restore Oh, oh God, and let the lost be redeemed. Anybody whose life is under the activities of the enemy and at the point of death, anybody in the hospital, wherever you are in the realms of the spirit, we are invoking the healing power of God that let your soul be restored. Let your soul be restored. Let your soul be restored. Those who have been assigned to die, he said, for let the signing of the prisoners come before thee, and let those who have been appointed to die be delivered. On this hours, whoever Satan has ordained and programmed in this time, even in this man to die, by the efficacy in the blood of Jesus, the blood that revoked the ordinances and curses, today let the blood speak up, let the blood speak up, let the blood speak up, the blood that speaketh better things, more than the blood of Abel, we declare that on this hour, we activate the blood. We activate the blood. We activate the blood. We activate the blood. We activate the blood, we activate the blood into the hospitals. Uh. We activate the blood into homes. Uh. We activate the blood into offices. Uh. In the name of Jesus, in the troubles, uh, go on going now in the spirit realm. Let the blood prevail. Let the blood contend. Let the blood redeem. Let the blood rescue those who have been appointed to to die, we declare on this airways, may their soul, may their spirit be revived. Father, may you revive those whom Satan have tied up, those who are going through battles, uh, things that they cannot defy, those who are at the point of taking poison, that they are giving up on life and hope. Today, by on this platform, we decree by the power of the Holy Spirit uh, that may your grace go forth. 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 Entry into homes. Entry into family. Those who are ready to hang themselves. Let them be delivered. 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 Any demonic sanctions 
that have been released into the realms of the spirit. I said that clouds over your nations, uh, that clouds over families, uh, that clouds over your people to sit on the deliverance uh, and the revival and the resurrection of your people. Let them be lifted in the name of Jesus by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let it be lifted now. 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 In the name of Jesus. And now we command by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let every crooked path be made straight. Let every crooked path in the life of people, businesses, marriages, family, whatever is working behind the scenes to disadvantage your people and to deny your people what is due them in this season. Let them be reversed. Let them be reversed. Let them be reversed. Let them be reversed. reversed. Any strange happenings that is working behind the scenes, sicknesses that have been projected into the system by the power of the Holy Ghost, let them be reversed. Let them be reversed. Let them be reversed. In the name of Jesus, we say, Who are that you mountain before Zerubbabel? For you shall become plain. We declare in the mountain against your people, mountain that have been lifted up to oppose the restoration of families, the restoration of businesses, the restoration of finances, the restoration of health of people, the restoration of spirituality in the nations. Today, let them be reversed. We declare, Let there be no compromise. And let the table turn around. Let the table turn around for your people by the power of the Holy Ghost. Restore your people. Restore your people. And revive your work, oh God. Revive ministries. uh, Revive churches. uh, Revive pastors. uh, In the name of Jesus. uh, Anybody going through any cycle, on ending cycle in ministry, any man of God, woman of God hearing us uh, at the point of giving up in ministry, let them be reviving power. Let them be reviving power. Let them be reviving power. Let them be reviving power of the Holy Ghost revive. Revive, 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 revive your people, revive your people, revive your people, revive your people, divine revival, divine revival, divine revival, divine revival, revive churches, revive family, revive your people, revive your people, revive your people by the power of God, revive churches, revive nations, revive churches. Revive children, revive family, revive marriages in the name of Jesus, by the power of God in the name of Jesus. May the Lord revive you once again and may the Lord heal our land from iniquity that they in the hold of the enemy. He said, for if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, may our leader turn from their wicked ways. May we turn from our wicked ways uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever we are resorted and given ourselves to, that have given the enemy an audacity. He said, for the prince of this world coming, but he has nothing in me. In the access we have given to the enemy, today let it be shut in the spirit. We shut it in the spirit. We shut in the spirit. Over the church, over the nation. We shut it now. We shut it now. We shut it now. In the access created in the spirit, uh, we shut it now. We shut it now. By fire, by the blood. We shut it now. We shut it now. We shut it now. By the blood and by fire. In the name of Jesus. Whatever he has released, he said he's coming, but he has nothing in me. Anything he has established as a hold over your people to deny the prophecy over the head of your people, David said, For I have come in the volume of the book that which is written of us, that we may do thy will. Therefore, in this time of God, anything contending with the revival and the prophecy of our nations, uh, prophecy of our people, uh, prophecy of our churches, uh, in the political scene, in the financial scene, today we command it to be overthrown. In the the name of Jesus, whatever has been released in the atmosphere, we declare that let it be submerged by the blood of Jesus Christ. And we declare whatever the wicked has released and spew out of his mouth against nations, 
against our youth, against our children, our husband. Today we declare that let it be reversed. Let it be reversed. In the spirit of destruction, self-destruction, self-sabotage, things that have been released against us to destroy us. Oh God of our salvation, we stand today by the authority in the blood and we declare whatever has been released as a self-sabotage and as a self-destruction against the body of Christ, against our leaders, against our lives, our children, our sons, our husbands, to sabotage our deliverance, restoration, and testimony right now by the efficacy in the blood. We declare, let them be reversed. In the name of Jesus. And now we declare that may we walk under open heavens. In the name of Jesus. According to uh, Zechariah chapter 10, he said, for one and two, ask ye of the Lord rain in the time of the latter rain. So the Lord shall make bright clouds and give them showers of rain to every one, every one grass in the field. For the idols have spoken vanity and the diviners have seen a lie and have told false dreams. They comfort in vain. Therefore, they went their way as a flock. They were troubled because there was no shepherd. We declare in the name of Jesus, we will not like our shepherds. Our father will be preserved. Our fathers and our ministers shall be preserved. May the Lord secure our leaders. May the Lord fortify them like a fortified city. May our shepherds so be delivered in the mighty name of Jesus. In the projections of the idols, the speakers of the diviners, prognosticators and warlocks that are working behind the scene against the body of Christ, against the church, and against the advancement of the people that are following us within these 30 days. Let the diviners be made mad. Let them be made Made mad. Let them be made mad. Let the diviners be made mad. In the name of the Lord Jesus, let the diviners be made mad. Let the sorcerers be made mad. Let the pronosticators be made mad. Let the warlords be made mad. Let their power be nullified. Let the oppression be neutralized. Let their destroyer be destroyed. And let the avenger be set to destruction. And let the name of God break forth over our nation to restore people back into its original state. Father, restore your people into your original intent for them. Father, restore family, restore destinies, restore businesses, restore finances. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, whatever the enemy has placed a demand with command, the power of restoration are to work in the mighty name of Jesus. Restore the inheritance of your people wherever we have been found in any form of spiritual bondage and captivity. Let the restoration power be activated. The restoration power, the restoration power, the restoration power, restoring your people, reviving your people, once again reviving nations in the name of Jesus Christ, reviving you, the students, Father, reviving people in the educational sector, revive and enter into schools, enter into schools, tertiary in the name of Jesus, and Father, enter in the secondary in the name of Jesus, enter into all the primary and nursery, enter into everywhere in our educational scene. Oh, Father, enter into our youth, Rakato Shadahas. Enter, oh God, and bring deliverance to them. Release them from bondage. Rescue them. Rescue them. Rescue them. Rescue them. Rescue them. Wherever the souls of these young ones have been tied up into the ways, and so there is a way that seems right in the eyes of men, but the end thereof is destruction. We declare that let their soul be redeemed. On this airways, if your son is disobeying you, if there is any power, the spirit that rules in the atmosphere, again, the children of disobedience that causes them to walk not in alignment to the will of God. Today, we are declaring that let their power over them be broken. Let their power over them be broken. In the name of the Lord Jesus, in the spirit of disobedience that are operating in the sons and the daughters that are up in this generation uh, that have been released into the atmosphere to walk because people to walk in ignorance and a dimension of blindness and deafness. Let that you be broken. Let that you be broken. Let that you be broken. Let that you be broken over our generation. Let that you break in the name of Jesus Christ. And we declare, Father, may they have a seeing ears 
uh, see eyes and a hearing ear. May you give them the capacity to see grace and capacity to know the truth. For you said, we shall know the truth and the truth shall set us free. May they know, you say, you shall know me from the beginning, you shall know me. Father, may this generation know you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. May we walk in obedience with the will of God that your purpose of God shall be accomplished. We declare the vision shall be manifested. Your counsel shall stand. You shall prevail in our nations. Our leaders will come alive. They shall be quickened in their mortal bodies by the Holy Ghost power in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. That is a let this mind that is in Christ be also be in you. We declare that they will walk in the mind of Christ. In Jesus' name, amen.